Nenaruk has been a prominent mouse and speed player for years with incredible potential, and in 2023, we got a delicious taste of that. Unlocking a new tier of speed scores at number 1 so good that he not only reached top 10 but 4th in the world rankings, currently making him the highest ranked mouse player in the world. We saw a lot of crazy scores from Nenaruk throughout the year, and people now see him as one of the next players who can tear through the PP records. Despite not doing so this year, he was quite close multiple times. Some of the best scores he set were of incredible magnitudes. The scores that come to mind are Reign of Fear V being the first double time FC and earning him his first ever 1.2k PP score, and NRT hidden double time FC where he shreds 303 beats per minute, and finally, 
when Inner considers his magnum opus, Thanu Nara, Hidden Double Time, SS. In addition, Nenarik also completed major tournament goals this year. With great aim and hard luck ability to boot, he's proved to everyone that being the best tournament speed player isn't nearly all he's caught, having won massive tournaments like Corsair's Open and Connor Cup 4. The rest of the world better be scared as this Norwegian speed demon pushes his own boundaries even further into 2024. Starting near off by getting his first 1000 PP play, taking a sudden turn from your generic DT aim farmer into one of the most remarkable speed players the game has to offer, Zuma's characteristic dedication to the scores he wants, as well as a massive improvement to his stamina and finger control, have allowed him to showcase some of the greatest potential we've ever seen, setting dozens of one-of-a-kind plays and chokes that were microbes away from scores of indescribable levels. He's been able to really set himself apart from the usual mechanics players that we see topping the single player leaderboards, and with all the amazing double time scores he set this year, he even managed to claim top 10 global, being the first player from New Zealand to do so in over 10 years. Some of these mind blowing plays he's been setting have been on crazy maps, like his score on Kagachi with a miscount miles ahead of any other player, an S rank on the Mad Pure Laughs that could have easily been worth over 1500 PP and the first ever double time FC on Neko Mimi, awarding him with his new top play and becoming the second player after only Amrek to obtain the 10 star FC medal. Unfortunately, with a lack of motivation, Zuma hasn't been as active in the later end of 2023. However, his rise to the top this year still stands as one of the most explosive we have ever seen, and I'm excited to see whether he'll be able to pull it off again in 2024. Very rarely do speed players grow out of the name they made for themselves as a tapping player. Many players in the community used to see Enri and go, Bro's a speed one trick, but that could not be further from the truth. All it takes is seeing a single good match from Enri to know that this guy is a top contender in just about every skill set in the game. Like, let's take a look at what scores came out of this Keeg Enri guy last year. Okay, we got First Death Nomad FC, Last Note Coup d'etat Hidden FC, Duplication Hard Rock S Rank, and Papilio Ulysses Hidden FC. This dude's got the reading of a psychic Harvard English major and has more control over his aim than ChatGPT has control over my grades. Henry also had some crazy ass tournament performances last year, winning both Corsace Open and K's to complete his first row of badges while landing a spot on the top three podium in MREX Grand Master Cup and Corsace Closed as well. Glad to see Enri carrying that Pinoy pride on his back and I'm excited to see him continue that legacy in 2024.
After many years of gradual improvement for Rektigon, 2023 saw his ascension into the upper echelon of talent in Osu. While continuing to dominate heavy metal leaderboards with incredible Nomad and Hard Rock scores, such as the first FC on Astral Empire, Rektigon spent tons of time this year improving on his weaker skill sets, most notably his Tekken reading. This rounded him into one of the most feared tournament players in the world, as he won 9 badges in the year, defeating MREC in the Roundtable's Battle Royale, Zudinator in North America tournament, and was the centerpiece of the United States' 8th OSU World Cup winning roster in 9 years, where he played all but 2 maps in the Grand Final and matched the Titans of South Korea punch for punch. Something special about many of his tournament victories was his impact on the skill sets that he worked so hard to improve. For example, an FC on the approach rate 4 pick in NAT Grand Finals, an outscoring forum for a clutch victory on the hidden tech pick in OWC Grand Finals Bracket Reset, which retrospectively would be one of the key breakpoints that enabled the USA to force tiebreaker and take the victory. With one of the highest skill caps in the game, and one of the most well-rounded skill sets, one can only imagine the heights that Rektigon will reach in 2024. The last few years, Speed has been the undisputed frontrunner for the highest potential for PP records in the game, leading to a majority of the highest ranking players in the world being expertly well versed in raw speed. This especially goes for the top 10, where every single player has a specialization in that set of skills. Except for one, Gnacus is a breath of fresh air for the scene being the single top 10 global player to specialize in fast aim, allowing him to really stand out and to be able to set many number ones on on A maps with tons of competition. Be it hidden double time or 3 mod, Gnacus has really mastered his playstyle, having aim going at breakneck speeds and displaying some incredible skill stealing at a consistent level. This is not only proven by his solo scores but also by his tournament performances like first place in AIM Cup 3, Case Finesse Cup and most notably Corsair's Open, all tournaments with very difficult late stage map pool. In solo, scores like the 1x100 FC on Imagination 3 mod is genuinely incredible considering the rest of the competition, and also just missing out on one of the best team scores of the year with a Chicago 3 mod choke which would've earned him his first 1.3k, Nagus is an outstanding example of what it means to commit to your strength, and I'm sure he'll keep proving that in 2024. Another year, another time for Lifeline to single tap his way through the competition. Everyone already knows that the man is an Amy Marvel and proving it plenty. But in 2023, not only did his aim improve, but he made a massive leap in his speed ability. And with that, setting speed aim hybrid scores that are one of a kind and rifling that of the very best. Likely the most famous being the first ever double time full combo on Through the Fire and the Flames, beating the likes of Embrek and Akolibat. But there's a lot more than that. Number one on If You Can't Hang, new role double time slider break show, seven other 1.2 Ks and 15 1.1 Ks set this year. His presence and raw skill as a top player will always be known and a great joy to see.
with his performances this year and all the previous years along with it lifeline has proven that he is and always will be a permanent key player of the modern era and without question one of the best players of 2023 Within the discussion of Osu's greatest players, there tends to be a distinction between those who excel in solo play and those who find their greatest success in tournaments. 2023 was a year where Malashevsky showed dominance in both of these domains. Earning a mind-boggling 25 tourney badges during the year, which to put in perspective is more than half of Bubbleman's entire badge collection, the player with the most badges in the game, more than half of that in just one year. This includes tournaments at the highest level of competition, such as winning Corsace Open, winning MGC where he set a play on the Nomad 2 against Vaxay in Grand Finals that peaked at over 1k PP. Easily one of the greatest plays I have ever seen in a match, and to top it off, being awarded the most valuable player in OWC. The consistency and mastery of almost every skill set it takes to accomplish these feats is incredible, but it's not just his accomplishments in tournaments that make Malashevsky stand out in a year this packed with skilled players. Reaching the top 10 of the leaderboard towards the end of the year, setting several 1Ks with a crowning jewel of breaking the hidden only PP record at 1.2K with his FC on Astral Empire. If 2023 is anything to go by, in 2024 expect to see a new player to take the title of most tourney badges earned by the name of Malashevsky. Akolibet had a year for the record books. While his tournament performance resulted in two badges from UK Community Cup 12 and CIS Team League, the reason Akolibet became a legend this year lies in the rankings. There were many changes to the rankings this year and many shakeups near the top, but none were bigger than Akolibet's rise from rank 4 to an uncontested rank 2, putting an over 2,000 PP gap between himself and the rest of the top 10. Akolibet farmed over 6,000 raw PP between January 1st, 2023 and the release of this video. He went from 1,100 to 30. He skipped 1,200 for his first 1,300 on Will Stetson's first Storm Hidden Double Time, going on to then set 11 1,200s and 4 1,300s this year. This would already be enough to put him in the number 2 spot in the rankings without much of a contest, but 1,300s alone are not enough to get within 500 PP of number 1. 
a collie that might just be incapable of slowly moving forward, as he skipped 1400 as well for the world's first 1500 PP standard play on Valley of the Dam DT, and set the second 1500 PP play on Azul Remix DT just two days later. And finally, amidst a staggering amount of incredible plays around the world, like a new Nomad PP record, Hidden Only PP record, new MREC top play, and Blue Zenith Easy Hidden SS, a collie bed set the score that would stand head and shoulders above every other. A sidetrack day hidden double time FC for 1700 PP. Through the last decade of competitive rankings, the human limits of OS have been discussed and dismissed countless times as players continue to break those projected limits. A collie bed scores this year might just be the first evidence that the limit does not exist. Forum, or as ironically written, Worst HR Player, has in just two years become a household name. 2022 may have been the rise, but 2023 was the reign of a player so incredibly unique yet so revered. So much so that people are naming maps after him. It goes without saying, but this was a great year for Forum. He not only set scores that are bluntly untouchable, but set a legacy for himself in the tournament scene, doing things no single player has matched in scale. Every forum score post was an unpredictable dopamine rush of a unique control and gimmick scores nobody had seen done by anyone else. Any team tournament forum played in yielded results. But there are some true outliers, like its infamous massacre at the Hippo Cup 7 finals, and of course, the US World Cup, alongside South Korea, where, surprise, surprise, he not only set World Cup PP records, but produced arguably the single greatest tournament score ever set in the most exciting and tense World Cup Grand Finals we've seen in several years, pushing a dynasty further than ever. At the end of the day, who the hell needs speed and stamina if you're nearly unstoppable on every other physical skill set in the game? This player is a genuine anomaly. Jack of one, master of everything else. What else is that to say? Have you ever seen Forum and Faker in the same room?
Messi just goes off what is theoretically possible. And that's how he pushes boundaries. In the gaming community, there is a group of players who are true masters of their craft and stand out for their dominance in certain areas of their respective game. I'm number one. What are you talking about? The first player in Osu history to reach 25,000. The only player to fill their entire profile with nothing but 1,000 TP The longest consecutive reign atop the Osu rankings, and soon, the most time spent at number 1 in total. Is Enrek the number one player in the world and the number one player in Los Angeles? It's just Emrek! Can he do it? Can he clutch up for his team? He's getting it done! He's going! I think the only one was right at but. Before the recent, like all the recent number ones, like all the past number ones, they're like, they they like get bored of the number one, so they want to give it to someone else. I think I want to differ from that, and I want to fight for my number one spot if someone tries to take it. I don't want to be like the same of like just give it up. I think it's kind of boring. Twenty twenty three is a year where players have improved faster than ever. But even so, there's no surprise who's number one. Emrek has seen off all challenges to take the top spot for a third time in a row. He's the first player since Shigetora to do it, and it's no coincidence. He's now the longest reigning number one player of all time. He's keeping AMPP relevant in a speed better through sheer force of will. He's beat the tournament final boss Malashevsky not once, but twice in top 1v1 grand finals. He's just unstoppable. People have always wondered though whether Emrex run can be put alongside the goats of the past yet. Like the likes of Shigetora, or Ruchi, or Vaxa. He's got the ability, but has his legacy left a mark that can match those? I think this year, we could put that argument to bed. Like Shige in his prime, Emrex solo sessions captivate the community as they watch him make the impossible look doable. And like Vax say, he boxes any tournament he enters. He can win versus the very best. He's been at the top for so long now, I bet you a good section of the community have not known anything other than Emrek being number one. And it really feels like he can keep it as long as he wants to try for it, just like Shige could. So let's call a spade a spade. Not only is Emrek the best player of the year, he is now truly, undisputedly, one of the true Osu goats and he might just be in contention for the greatest of all time.